Carmageddon. So I don't know a whole lot about this game, but apparently it's like the Duke Nukem of racing games. So let's see exactly what that entails. Yep, that's the 90s, all right. Okay, so it's like Twisted Metal. Got it. Oh god, this isn't like Twisted Metal at all. I feel like I should at least mention that they made two versions of this game. The original version is super old looking and has toaster graphics. The other one is more 3D looking and just looks a little bit nicer overall, so that's the version I'll be playing for this review. Okay, it looks like the main mode is racing instead of battling, so let's see how this goes. Max damage and die Anna. <laughs> Very clever. I get to pick what position I start in? I never got that in races. How is it fair that some cars get to start ahead of others? Why don't they just all start in a horizontal line, like in horse races? Three, two, one, go! Okay, why am I not moving? Why am I not moving? Oh, number keys instead of the arrows. Got it. What? Hey, stop that. What? Ugh. How do I get up? How do I get up? Seriously, I don't know how to get up. I'm pressing every key on the keyboard. How do I do? Recover car and continue. Is that really what I have to do? I have to open the menu and select recover car and continue? Why don't they just do it for me? Ugh, whatever. Son of a bitch. So edgy. Okay, I think I'm finally starting to get the hang of this. Oh god, I'm not getting the hang of this at all. You get bonus points for running people over? Really? Why are you just standing there in the middle of the road? Why would anyone ever do that? Do you all have death wishes? Are you guys on suicide watch? Is this some metaphor for giving up on the world? Am I in Japan right now? Oh hey, thanks for the boost, man. Never mind, not cool, don't appreciate it. Why do you have to do this to me? I'm just trying to race. I just want to go fast. Is that so much to ask? This is hard. I'm switching to baby mode. Okay, I can actually complete a race now. Let's do this. There are loops now? What is this? Sonic the Hedgehog? We. Oh no! Seriously, are you supposed to be able to get around this loop? For some reason, I just can't do it. Sometimes when I start a race, it starts me out on the map screen instead of showing my car. Why is that? I don't get it. So as it turns out, you have to run people over to get bonus time, otherwise you won't have enough time to complete the race. This is like Crazy Taxi. This isn't like Crazy Taxi. Son of a bitch! Well, before it was on accident. Now it's not on accident. <laughs> Are you going to upgrade the vehicle or what? Okay, I appreciate the sass. Okay, I fell down here. Now what? What do I do? How do I get out of here? How? And basically this goes on and on forever. Like seriously, this game has a ton of stages, especially for some old MS-DOS racing game. I'm impressed. That's one of the things this game gets right. A ton of stages, a handful of cool vehicles. As for the gameplay, well, it wasn't exactly bad necessarily. It just felt kind of clunky. Other games have tried similar concepts, but much better off in my opinion. Namely, Twisted Metal and Burnout. Both of those games feel fantastic and nail the vehicular combat thing perfectly. So if you want some of that, play those. Not this. Don't play this. Or do. Whatever. It's clear that the game was edgy just for the sake of being edgy, and I don't think that's very endearing. This isn't a game you look back and get nostalgic over, this is a game that just makes you laugh because of how silly it was. That being said, it might be worth playing just for that alone. Not many games from that time period did things like this, and it's clear that they were just going for the shock value. It's funny. Well, this game certainly was a product of its era. They'd never make anything like this nowadays. Huge thanks to the guys at Green Mushroom for asking me to do this video for them. I never would have played Carmageddon otherwise. If you liked it, go check out my channel, Content Free Time, where I talk about video games. You can subscribe to me over there, or subscribe to these guys here on this channel. Either way, you're in for a good time. Thanks for watching.